Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to plug your mouse, keyboard, or controller into the best USB ports so you can get the lowest possible latency on those devices and the least possible input lag. So it's really simple on how to figure this out. It's been made very easy with a tool like Hardware Info, which I'm going to be showing you. But for you Intel people, it's very simple. It's way, way less complicated than Ryzen. On Ryzen, there's a completely separate part of this video where I'm going to go over that but for intel all you have to do is open up your device manager and for example you're going to have uh, something called the intel extensible host controller you just got to make sure you plug it underneath there so if i expand for example the amd one so i'm on amd so it's going to be completely different for you if you're on intel but i'm covering intel for right now so if you're on intel you just need to have your mouse keyboard or controller under here and you need to make sure it's just right under the usb root hub for some of you you might have generic usb hubs and you don't don't want your latency sensitive devices under the generic USB hub. You want it just under the USB root hub, just like all these devices here that I have. So for, for example, my wireless adapter, headset, mic, and the USB stick that I have plugged in. So all of these would be like, if I had the Intel USB controller, it would be like this. And that's all you have to do. Just make sure you're not plugged into a generic USB hub. Other than that, it doesn't matter where you have it plugged in. Just make sure you're not in a generic USB hub, just sh directly straight to the USB root hub. Now, the second thing is this is for all CPUs. CPUs, the color of the USB ports does not matter. So all the color means is the generation of the USB ports. And what this means is the transfer speeds between these USB ports are different. So for example, a blue port is going to be USB 3.0, a gray port is USB 2.0. So realistically, for latency sensitive devices, mouse, keyboard, or controller, this does not matter. This doesn't provide any benefit plugging it into the blue just because it's newer. All this does is say, for example, you plug a USB into the USB 2.0, it's going to be a lot slower to put files on the USB or copy files onto that USB. So it's better to plug that USB stick into that USB 3.0 and just be able to install Windows faster off that USB or put stuff onto that USB way faster. Same thing for red ports between gray ports. So the color doesn't matter, just making that clear. Now for Ryzen, this is where hardware info comes into play. This is a tool where you can figure out which controller on your PC is the CPU USB controller. We want to plug our mouse keyboard or controller into the CPU USB controller. We don't want the chipset. So basically, all we're going to do is go to the link in the description you're going to download hardware info just hover right over portable click free download click local if you're in the us and then it's going to download this file just double click on it open it up with 7-zip or winrar double click on hw info 64 make sure you do that double click on it click start and it's going to basically analyze everything all we're looking for is this main window right here so you can close out of this you can close out of this and we're just looking at this right here so we're going to expand bus then expand pci bus number zero and we're going to expand basically everything here so as you can see AMD 400 series chipset. This is where I have basically everything that I don't care about for latency plugged into. So my USB stick, my headset, my microphone, and my Wi-Fi adapter. They're all plugged into this chipset USB port. So if you have stuff like that, just plug it in here. And the way you would figure out how to plug it stuff into here is just you would open up device manager again and then click view at the top, device by connection, expand everything. And for example, this chipset controller is going to match with this USB controller right here. So if you start unplugging stuff from here, for example, I'm going to unplug my my USB stick is going to refresh device manager. So as you can see, it refreshes device manager and it's unplugged as you can see. But on hardware info, it won't show that. You have to close it and reopen it again to show that. So we're just going to use device manager instead of hardware info to basically figure out if our mouse and keyboard or controller is plugged into the right USB ports. So chipset, it doesn't really matter what you have plugged into here. Just make sure it's not your latency sensitive devices. So controller, mouse, keyboard, make sure they're not plugged into here. I'm going to scroll down and this is where I have my mouse and keyboard plugged in. So I'm going to expand right here at the bottom one try to figure out which one has so as you can see amd matisse slash vermin so this is the code name for your cpu generation depending on what ryzen cpu you have so this is where you want your stuff plugged into so for example i have my keyboard plugged into here my steel series pro tkl and my razor viper mini plugged into this usb controller the cpu usb controller so i'm getting the lowest possible latency on these usb ports make sure you just switch around your usb ports and make sure they end up on whatever usb controller matches with the CPU USB controller and hardware info and device manager. So this one matches with this bottom one. This top one matches with the chipset. So make sure you take note of that and make sure you plug into the right one. Now, the second thing you want to watch out for is don't plug your latency sensitive devices in the front of the PC. Plug it into the back, straight to the motherboard because the front has to go through extra processing because it's basically running through the case and then into the motherboard and then the motherboard's processing it. You don't want that. You just want it directly through the motherboard into the CPU USB controller if you're on Ryzen. But 
if you have it like mine, for example, your mouse keyboard is not plugged into the CPU USB controller, you're pretty much all done. You don't got to do anything else and controller, same thing. So you can just pretty much close out of this and play your game. You're going to be on the lowest possible latency on those USB ports. Now that's just for Ryzen. For Intel, just watch the previous section of this video and you'll figure out which USB ports are best for you. It, on Intel, it's way simpler. But again, guys, the color of the USB ports do not matter and don't plug your USB latency sensitive devices into the front, plug them into the back. But that's going to be pretty much it for this video. If you guys want a full PC optimization service where you get lower input lag, way more FPS and smoother gameplay, go to the link zilli.net. And if you want a PC completely custom built for you, optimized for you and stress tested for you before you even get it, go to the second link in the description where you can purchase the best PC on the internet where it comes optimized for you and it's shipped out to you. All you have to do is just install your games and play your video games on the lowest possible latency and the most possible FPS on that system. But otherwise, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. If you guys need help with this, comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this and actually saw a benefit, also comment down below. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.